Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve this simple holiday glam look. It's so super easy and I also show you guys a few lip options that will go with this makeup. If you do want to see how I achieve this look today then just keep on watching. So I'm going to get started off on my skin and I'm going to be applying my primer. This is the MAC Natural Radiance Primer and I'm just applying it evenly all over the skin. For my foundation, I am taking my favorite, this is my EX1 Invisawear foundation, and I'm just spreading it all over my skin, and then I am going to be buffing it in to my skin using the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush, and I haven't used this brush in a while, and it really made me realize how much I absolutely love it. This brush is amazing for foundation. just want to make sure I have a nice, even coverage, and then we're going to be moving on to our eyes. I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Adri Wine Concealer and I'm going to be using this to act as an eye primer just because it's a little bit lighter coverage, it's a lot less drying than the primer I usually use, so I'm just using my finger to spread this all over my lid. And I am also making sure to set it as well so that it doesn't move all day. Next, I'm going to be taking Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee Eyeshadow and I'm going to be applying this into the crease using this crown blending brush and I absolutely love this brush. I'm just using this colour and applying it into the crease. Just as our first crease colour, we're actually only going to be using one other colour in the crease because I wanted to keep this eye look very nice and simple. But because this colour wasn't warm enough, I did want to go into a burnt orange shade as well. So once that is all nice and blended, just blend it as evenly as you can. You want to go into a burnt orange shade shade I'm going to be using Morocco from Makeup Geek and I'm just going to be taking this with the same brush and just applying it on top all over where we previously applied the creme brulee shade. This is just going to warm everything up and this is optional if you don't like these tones of colours you can just stick to a neutral brown but I really wanted to warm things up in the crease so that's why I applied this. I'm also going to be taking Magic Act Foiled Eyeshadow from Makeup Geek as well and I'm going to be spreading it all across the lid. This is one of the most perfect holiday colours because it's just so gorgeous and glittery. The colour payoff is amazing and I just love the colour. I think it's just so Christmassy. So I'm just applying it all over the lid quite gently. I don't want to pack it on too much because I don't want it to be too thick on the lid. And I'm just sculpting out where my crease is and I don't want it to go above my crease. I only want it to sit just where my crease is. And then I'm also just taking some more of that Morocco shade and just applying it with a smaller blending brush just to deepen up the crease a little bit. And then I'm going to go back to that previous brush and just blend everything out so that the eyes have a nice amount of definition. Then I'm going to be taking Makeup Geek Afterglow Pigment and this pigment is absolutely amazing. I'm going to be applying this on the inner corner of our lid and this is just going to give it a touch of sparkle. This is totally optional, you can do this only if you'd like. You don't have to do this, I just feel like it added a little extra touch of sparkle and I think that's really nice for the holidays and for Christmas time. Um, so yeah, do this if you'd like. Um, and then I'm going to be going into some lashes. Again, this is totally optional. I am taking one of my favourite lashes, this is the Isla 126 lashes. I personally chose these because they're not too long but they give me a nice amount of volume. You can go for just a really thick coat of mascara if you'd prefer that but for me simplicity usually does still involve false lashes but it's totally up to you. I'm just applying some mascara just to make sure that the lashes blend a little bit better to the false lashes and that way everything just looks a little bit more seamless. So moving back to my skin, I'm going to be applying my concealer and I am taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm just applying this onto all the areas I want to highlight or bring forward. So I'm applying it under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, also onto my forehead and my chin. And then I'm going to be blending that out with the same brush we use to apply our foundation. Just because I want a really nice seamless look, I don't want to see any lines. I'm then going to be setting my powder with my all-time favourite. This is of course the Soap & Glory Instant Retouch Powder and I'm just setting all the areas where we applied that concealer. I'm 
I'm then going to be taking this NYX contour stick and I'm going to be taking the contour side only and just using it to sculpt out all the areas I would like to appear more sculpted. I personally like to cream contour when I'm going for a simple eye or lip look because I do feel like a nice structured glowy face is really nice to pair with it but this is again of course optional. I'm just sculpting out all of the areas I would like to appear more chiseled. So I contoured the sides of my forehead, my cheekbones, my jawline and also my nose too. I also applied some onto my cupid's bow to give myself a little bit of a contour moustache for a little bit. <laughs> just going to be blending that in with a Real Techniques Expert face brush. I'm also using my finger onto the areas that are a little bit harder to just kind of blend in. So I'm using my finger onto my nose. And then what I am doing as well is just baking underneath my contour. So I'm just allowing some powder to sit there and what that will do is just clean up the contour and make it look super sharp. And then I'm just taking some of this NYX matte bronzer and I'm trying this out for the first time and it was quite dark. I did try to apply it as softly as possible and then using that same brush I'm just going to be dusting away the excess powder. I'm also going to be taking this blush from e.l.f. and just applying it onto the apples of my cheeks and just kind of rolling it upwards and outwards a little bit and this is just going to create a really nice rosy cheek and to give me that really nice healthy glow I am going for the Mary Luminizer and this is just the most gorgeous highlight ever every single time I use it I realize just how amazing it really is and I'm also applying this onto the tip of my nose too I did go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera, but I will link my tutorial down in the description box. To finish off the eyes, I'm just taking that small blending brush again with some more of that Morocco colour and just applying it onto the bottom lash line and just finishing off with some mascara. I did also apply a nude eyeliner into the waterline, but it totally cut that bit out, so I apologise for that. But you can go for a white or a nude eyeliner into the waterline. Next, moving on to lips, I wanted to go for a super glossy lip, but I am going to be showing you guys a few different lip options at the end. I just wanted to pair it with a super glossy nude lip. I'm first applying the MAC Strip Down Lip Liner, and then I'm taking Tom Ford Sable Smoke Lipstick. And then after that, I did want to apply some gloss, so I took the NARS Greek Holiday Gloss and just applied a generous amount of this to the lips. So guys, that is the finished look and that is how it looks with the nude lip, but I did want to just quickly show you how versatile this whole look is, minus the lip. You can wear this look with any lip colour. I know that lots of people do like to go for reds or for deep colours around the Christmas time, so I wanted to show you guys how it looks with this girly pink. also wanted to show you guys how it looks with this glossy red, which I know is a super popular one for Christmas. And then also, if you're feeling to go to the dark side, you can totally go for a vampy lip too. I personally will like to stick with the nude, but it's totally up to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed and comment down below some videos you would like to see next. And apart from that, I will talk to you later. Bye guys!